Hi everybody, welcome back again to the Drunken Bull Ranch, I'm Reed. So, I'm out here in the field, and uh, yes, I know, still looks like crap from the planting. However, uh, I noticed that this head last night was not spinning really well. So, what happens, and I don't know if you can see this, but right here, the, this this piece gets bent just a little bit or this piece back here and uh, and they they don't quite spin right anyway so what I did the other thing is that the spring sometimes loses its I guess we'll call it its springiness <laughs> and uh, so yeah they don't they don't want to work right um, so what I do is I actually take it into the shop and I'll smack it with a, a rubber mallet and kind of bend it the way that it should be and then I'll change them out so I'm just gonna change this one out really quick and uh, we'll test it out and see if it works but these heads can be kind of expensive so I like to use them as long as I can um, they're kind of a bugger to change too they get pretty tight and they don't want to come out but this one hasn't been in there that long so it's pretty easy a couple of pipe wrenches twist it right back in tighten it up And away you go so just so y'all know this one is the first one on the water line I mean you can see the water line going out that way but should be pretty easy to test so let me get this fired up and we'll see what happens oh the other thing I should tell you is that uh Apparently we have what I know as a rock chuck. Uh, a lot of people know him as marmot, but apparently he is living in my pile of rocks right there. And when I saw him, he ran all the way down to the end of the field to, I don't know if you can even see it. Where is it? That pile of rocks right there. Anyway, yeah, he is, uh, <laughs> I'm going to say he's eating pretty good. He's eating my hay right down to the ground. And then it starts in good right there. But, because, as you all may have guessed, I'm kind of a wildlife lover, we're going to let him run. And, uh. He may get a rude awakening when I go to move those rocks, but if he's hungry, we're gonna let him eat. So let's go back to the uh, sprinkler line. So my turn on's right over here. And uh, we'll get you pointed out there at that guy. Just a second. Okay, now you can see it. So give me just a second to fire this up. Okay, we got the water started. You can see that one doing its thing right there. Uh, it'll pressurize here in just a second. There we go. Look at that, that guy is a spinner. So, um, the other thing that I should tell you is that it is July 3rd, and uh, our water pressure has dropped significantly here in Utah. Uh, spring runoff is kind of over. And uh, so I may actually end up having to add it right here at this joint because as you can see, this sprinkler comes around 
and it's fallen a little short of the end of the field. Um, reason for that is pressure. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there in the distance, but everybody's running their sprinklers trying to get their crops to grow. So it's a yearly thing. Pressure drops, runoff stops, and they start reducing our our time for each water share. And uh, that's why, because it just isn't as much water as there could be, should be, ought to be, never is. <laughs> it's the joy of a drought. Anyway, so yeah, I may have to rethink this and put a head right over there just so that uh, we catch the end of the field. But once again, as you can see right there, that head is spinning where the other one was getting stuck. So sometimes you don't have to replace them. You can just adjust them with a calibrated rubber mallet. Anyway, and if I haven't told you all, have a wonderful 4th of July, and uh, we'll talk at you later. Bye. Oh, and uh, support your local farmers. Talk to you later.